I'm Liz Chan. In today's episode, you will learn the names of things we find in a home. A sofa. Elena, what else do we need? A coffee table. Yes. A coffee table. You will learn where you can put these things in the home. Ying Li, where's the sofa? It's under the window. Very good. It's under the window. You will also learn words we use to describe things. We have three chairs. A green one, a blue one, and a brown one. Celia, which one do you want for your new apartment? I want the blue one. Now, let's join Celia. She's at the salon with her friends, and they're talking about her new apartment. I need many things for my new apartment. I have an idea. We have to go shopping. Shopping? When? Where? How? I don't have a lot of money. Oh, there are many places we can go. There is a furniture store on Main Street. I know that store. It's very expensive. Expensive? Expensive means it costs a lot of money. But don't worry. There are other places we can buy furniture. You can look in the newspaper or go to garage sales. You can find sofas, lamps, refrigerators that are less expensive. They might be used, but they can still be good. Here is the newspaper. Oh, let's look. You'll be fine, Celia. It takes time to find the things you like, but everything will look great. OK. Celia's friends are going to help her buy furniture. But first, let's join them in English class. Good evening, class. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good Celia, did you find an apartment? Yes, a very nice one. That's wonderful. Have you moved in yet? No. First, I need to buy more things for my apartment. Then, Jing Li, Lana, and Jagra are going to help me moving. That's nice that you have friends to help you. Let's begin today's lesson by learning the names of things we find in a home. Maybe some of these things are what you need for your apartment, Celia. Oh, good. Please watch and listen. Sofa. Coffee table. Chair. Bookcase. Lamp. Television or TV. Plant. Painting. Curtains. Now that we know the names of things we have in a home, let's practice. This is a living room. We need to furnish it. What do we put in a living room? Luis. A sofa. Good idea. A sofa. Elena, what else do we need? A coffee table. Yes. A coffee table. It looks great. What else, Carmen? It needs a chair. Now we have a chair. What else, Lynn? A lamp. Good. A lamp. What else, Pablo? A bookcase for your books. Very good. A bookcase. Ying Li, any other suggestions? A plant. Great. A plant. Anything else? Lana. Curtains for the window. Excellent. Curtains. Shinjun, anything else? A painting. 
a painting for the wall. It looks very nice. Are we finished or do we need anything more? Jagrash. A TV. We need a TV. A TV. What a great living room. We have a sofa, coffee table, chair, lamp, bookcase, a plant, curtains, a painting, and a TV. Does everyone like this living room? I don't like this living room. OK, what do you want to change? The bookcase and the chair. I like the chair on the right. OK, you like the chair next to the lamp, like this? Yes, the chair next to the lamp. Good job, Celia. Next to is a preposition. Let's learn about prepositions. The lamp is next to the chair. The chair is on the left. The bookcase is on the right. The coffee table is in front of the sofa. The lamp is in back of the sofa. The chair is in between the tables. The plant is on the table. The sofa is under the window. The window is above the sofa. Now let's practice using the prepositions. Shinjun, where's the plant? It's on the table. It's on the table, yes. Ying Li, where's the sofa? It's under the window. Very good. It's under the window. And where's the window, Lin? It's above the sofa. It's above the sofa. Good job. Is the chair on the right or on the left? Elena? It's on the left. It's on the left. Good. Celia, is the bookcase on the right or on the left? It's on the right. It's on the right. Excellent job, everyone. Now it's your turn to practice. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. For example, if I say, where is the lamp? You answer, it's on the table. Are you ready? Let's begin. Where's the TV? It's in front of the sofa. Where's the plant? It's in back of the chair. Where's the painting? It's above the sofa. Great job. Class, we've learned about things we put in the living room. Now let's learn about things we put in the kitchen and the bedroom. Please watch and listen. Kitchen, kitchen, bedroom, bedroom. Where's the stove? It's in the kitchen. Where's the bed? It's in the bedroom. Where's the dresser? It's in the bedroom. Where's the sink? It's in the kitchen. Where's the night table? It's in the bedroom. Where's the refrigerator? It's in the kitchen. 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 Bedroom. Bedroom. Class, let's practice describing things we have in a home. 
What do you need for your new apartment, Celia? I need chairs. What kind of chairs? Uh, I don't know. Let's learn some ways to describe furniture. We have three chairs. A green one, a blue one, and a brown one. Celia, which one do you want for your new apartment? I want the blue one. Shagraj, how about you? Which one do you want? I want the brown one. Carmen, how about you? The green one. Okay, let's talk about TVs. We have three TVs. A big one, a medium one, a small one. Elena, which one do you want? I want the big one. I like to watch soccer on TV. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Anyone else? I want the medium one. I want the small one. I don't like TV. <laughs> Good choices. How about stoves? Let's look. I see two stoves, an old one and a new one. Lynn, which one do you want? I want the old one. It looks like my grandmother's stove. I want the new one. I like to cook and I like to eat. <laughs> now let's look at some sofas. I have three sofas. One is in excellent condition. One is in good condition. And one is in bad condition. What do you think? Which one do you want? Carmen. I want the one in excellent condition. Does anyone want the one in poor condition? Okay, no one wants the one in poor condition. It doesn't look very comfortable. Let's look at some coffee tables. One is expensive, one is reasonable, and one is cheap. Lana, which one do you want? I want the expensive one. I like that one too. Good choice. We now know how to describe things in the home. Let's see what you remember. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. Which stove do you want? I want the new one. Which TV do you want? I want the big one. Which coffee table do you want? I want the expensive one. Excellent work. Let's go back to the class. Celia, what kind of chairs do you want for your apartment now? I want big chairs in good condition. Where can she buy chairs? Jagrash. At the furniture store. You can buy furniture at a furniture store. Also, sometimes people sell their old furniture at a garage sale. You can find garage sales at people's homes. Let's visit one and see. Hmm, garage sale. May I help you? Hi, I'm looking for some chairs. How much is this blue one? It's $35. Oh no, this chair is in excellent condition. It's $40. Can I buy the blue one and the orange one for $50? The orange one is old and it's in poor condition. I think $50 is reasonable for these two chairs. Okay, $50 for both.
Congratulations, you have two new chairs. Thank you. Class, how much are the two chairs? Lana. The chairs are $50. Shinjun, is that a reasonable price? Yes, it is. Carmen, how is the blue chair? It's in excellent condition. And Lynn, how is the orange chair? It's in bad condition. Good work, everyone. Now let's practice. For the student at home, turn to page three of your workbook. It looks like this. Look at number one. There are two TVs. A is $150 and B is $200. Now let's watch Maria at the garage sale. Listen carefully for the price of the TV. How old is this TV? It's only six months old. It's small for me. It's small, but it's in good condition. How much is it? It's $150. That's a little expensive, but I need a TV. Yeah. OK. Look at number one in your workbook. How much is the TV? The TV is $150, answer A. Now let's look at number two. A is small, B is large. Let's watch and see which lamp Maria chooses. Both lamps are old, but they're in excellent condition. I like them both. I'm not sure. How much is the small lamp? The small lamp is $15. That's a good price. How much is the large lamp? The large lamp is $25. Hmm. I like the small lamp, but I need a large lamp for my apartment. I want the large lamp. The large lamp it is. Let's look at number two. Which lamp does Maria want, the small one or the large one? Very good. Maria wants the large lamp. Answer B. Now let's look at number three. A is a bookcase. B is a painting. Let's see what Maria buys. The painting is old, but it's in excellent condition. I want a painting for my living room. How much is it? It's $5. Wow, that is cheap. I also need a bookcase for my books. How much is this bookcase? It's very reasonable. It's $20. I'll take it. Do you want the painting? No, thanks. What does Maria buy, the bookcase or the painting? Yes. She buys the bookcase, letter A. Now let's look at number four. Here are two microwaves. A is new. B is old. Let's go back to the garage sale. Does Maria buy a new microwave or an old one? A microwave oven. I need one of these. They make life easier. How much is it? $40. $40. That's expensive. It's brand new. I guess you're right. $40 is reasonable for a new microwave. It looks like it's in good condition, too. Oh, it's in excellent condition. OK, I'll take it. Great. Is the microwave new or old? It's new, letter A. Now let's look at number five. A is a cheap coffee table. B is an expensive one. Which one does Maria see at the garage sale? 
Wow. I have a lot of stuff for my apartment. I have a blue chair, an orange chair, a lamp, a TV, a bookcase, and a new microwave. Now I need a coffee table. Oh, I have one right over here. Come on. This is a nice coffee table. It's in good condition. The wood is a beautiful brown. Yes, it is very nice. How much is it? It's quite reasonable. It's $200. $200? That's expensive. It's in excellent condition. And it is a beautiful brown. The coffee table is a beautiful brown, and it is in good condition, but it's too expensive for me. Sorry. What does Maria think of the coffee table? Does she think it's cheap or expensive? Expensive, letter B. Good work. So, Celia. Are you going to go to a garage sale to look for furniture? Yes, I want to go to a garage sale this weekend. But how do I find a garage sale? You can find garage sales listed in your local newspaper. And sometimes people put signs in the neighborhood with the address of a garage sale. Time to go. Use the English we've learned and good luck with your new apartment, Celia. Thank you. The students learned a lot in English class today. Now let's join Celia in her new apartment. Here is the key to your new apartment. <laughs> thank you, Danny. And thank you for helping me move in. You're welcome, Celia. And if you need anything, I'm right upstairs. Please ask. Oh, Celia. What a nice apartment! How many rooms does it have? There are two bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, and this living room. Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you. Now let's get to work. Oh, I like it. It's great. Come mm -hmm. on, don't stand there. Let's go! We have two chairs and two lamps. You have a coffee table and a sofa. You have some pots and a television. Yes, you have a great apartment. It's my first apartment in the United States. I can't believe it. I'm very happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you too. You're so lucky. <laughs> Celia is very happy with her first apartment. Now, let's review today's lesson. First, you learned the names of things we have in a home. Are we finished or do we need anything more? Jean Rush. A TV. We need a TV. A TV. What a great living room. You also learned where to put those things. Is the chair on the right or on the left, Elena? It's on the left. It's on the left. Good. And you learned how to describe things you find in a home. We have three TVs, a big one, a medium one, a small one. Elena, which one do you want? I want the big one. I like to watch soccer on TV. Before we go, let's practice what we learned with the teacher.
Welcome to the practice video for episode 18. Let's review the things we have in the bedroom and in the kitchen. Look at the pictures and repeat after me. The stove is in the kitchen. The bed is in the bedroom. The sink is in the kitchen. The dresser is in the bedroom. The refrigerator is in the kitchen. The night table is in the bedroom. Now look at the same pictures and answer my questions. Where's the refrigerator? It's in the kitchen. Where's the dresser? It's in the bedroom. Where's the bed? It's in the bedroom. Where's the sink? It's in the kitchen. Where's the night table? It's in the bedroom. Where's the stove? It's in the kitchen. Now let's review some other words we learned today. Next to, on the left, on the right, in front of, in back of, in between, on. Use the words from this list to answer my questions. Where's the coffee table? It's in front of the sofa. Where's the chair? It's on the left. Where's the plant? It's on the table. Where's the lamp? It's next to the chair. Where's the bookcase? It's on the right. Where's the chair? It's in between the tables. Where's the lamp? It's in back of the sofa. Excellent work, everyone. Keep practicing your English, and I'll see you next time.